Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my uh, coaching mastermind session. We have a number of uh, coaching students that are here that we're going to help answer their questions and uh, review some of the conversations they're having with prospects. And we invited our general audience and members of the public to take a look. So uh, welcome. You don't normally get a chance to uh, look at this. So we're just going to jump in and get started. But first, let me answer some of Tiffany's questions. Hi, Matt. Yeah, hi, Tiffany. Let me go over here to LinkedIn. And we'll jump into your account. There we go. So Let's do it. Let's deal with the questions first, and then we'll look at some of your conversations. Okay. So a couple questions. I did the thing where you take off the background this morning, and it made that black background. Is that right, or did I do something wrong, or is that fine? Um. Oh, you mean for your profile? Yeah. Um. For me. I thought when you did the demonstration that it turned it to have a white background, but when I uploaded it, it was black. So I didn't know if I did something wrong or what. Uh, no, or you, that you, looks you, fine. No, that looks fine. Uh, okay. if, you, if you wanted to get rid of the black background, then you could take the image you got from the download and put it on a white background, copy it, and, and put it back and you have a white background. Okay. All right. So another question was um, with your birthday strategy, with them ver having you verify the account now, and it said that when I did it, it said that it has to match the information that's on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So if we changed our birthday, would that then unverify I, our I, account? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think it checks your birthday. Okay. You know, you could try it. Okay. And then my third question was when you post and then people go and interact with your post or whatever, like it, mm -hmm. how far back do you suggest not going as far as talking with those people like a week ago or is that fine still reaching out to those people? Oh, yeah, people? no, no, that's, that's fine. You know, okay. what you do is don't respond to them on the post. In other words, uh, send them a direct message. Right. And say, I just noticed that you responded to you, you know my post two weeks ago and i wanted to respond okay that's all you have to do awesome thank you all right so anything else are we going to look at conversations now nope we can look at conversations now who are we looking at first um shanna s-h-a-n-n-a -N -N -A. She's the lady who just got diagnosed with breast cancer. Right. Okay. You see what I meant about when you ask questions that are of interest to people, they write. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so now,
So she's been out of work since March 23rd. So she's already been out of work for six months. Which means her um, unemployment would have definitely run out. So now that we know enough about her, we, we can use the project launch script in a manner that will make her more curious. In other words, a lot of people today <clears throat> that, how long do you think it'll take before you start working again? Well, November 17th, that's, that's two months away. Now, Okay, so now, before we get into that, what's the question? How have you been? How have you been surviving financially? Have you now that's going to be the question. That's the question. So let's just save that for a minute. Now I'll come back over here. Now we could use the finger fingers crossed uh, GIF. Let's see. I'll keep you in my prayers, GIF. So do what this one looks like.
to this one. Now come back over here to the message. Now, you know, once she comes back and tells you what her financial situation is, now you're going to be able to use the transition line All right, and so what would the transition line be? I have no idea. Well, that's, I'm going to give it to you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is for Shauna. So when she comes back and tells her, tells you what her circumstances are, the transition line. would be, again, it's got to be appropriate, but, oops. Many. Now, we could say, now, see, now, here's the thing. We could say many of the professionals that I work with, and that opens up the question, well, how many, how many people like this are you working with? Mm -hmm. So many, uh, many professionals that have to take time off from work because they're dealing with cancer. Are able to generate are able to generate income from home many professionals this is where we're going to personalize it many professionals. Any management professionals that have to take time off from work because they are dealing with cancer are able to generate income from home doing the thing doing the things.
Yes, sir. So what's our schedule tomorrow? Tomorrow, the boat leaves at the 10 o'clock in the morning. From where? Uh, Coconut, uh, Coconut Grove. Oh, okay, that's new for me. Yeah, yeah. L let me call you back in about a half an hour. No problem. All right, I'll call you back. Yes. Um, doing the, uh, uh, from home. Let's stop there. Now, this is a theory. It's a theory. You know, we have to wait. We have to wait for the answer. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it just. We might find ourselves in a situation where. We're not, you know, it's not appropriate. OK. okay. So who's next? Vivian. V-I-V-I-A-N. I got to tell you, you're really picking good people. This is Villian Ferris? Yep. Okay. So she had seen that. She was like, I see on your profile that you're a coach. And so she brought that, that, that she's a coach. So that's why I asked her what kind of coaching she is, does. <clears throat> And when she asked what, or she said, what about you? So I don't know if she was asking kind of what I enjoy about coaching or what. Okay, so when we say, she says she's open to work. It, is she open to work and help people with their coaching program? Or is she open to work because she needs to do something else? So you, that's usually the 20 plus years. Okay, so American Income Life. I'm always seeking leaders. So it will it, right here. It would appear that she's looking for people to uh, work with her in American Income Life. So that that's basically what she's looking to do. Okay. Okay. So she's basically in the position to sell you on her coaching program. Gotcha. Okay. okay. All right. Now there's two ways. There's two ways that you could look at this. Uh well, one, first of all, would be. You know, what prompted you to get into this? And then, of course, most of uh, many of the coaches that you work with, or how many of the coaches, many of the people that you work with, they're not necessarily coaches. They want to, uh, you know, generate income. And many of the coaches that you work with are looking to generate a side income that's residual in nature. So if they want to take off time from coaching, they can do that. So it's only going to take a couple of questions to find out where she is. And you see, so that's what the open to work thing is all about. So... So you reached out to her. For years. So I saw that you do coaching. I do too.
Okay. So what about you? Okay. Now remember, when somebody asks you about you, what do we say? I managed to drive through coffee shop for 13 years. Mm -hmm. Let me write that. Now I'm I drive in what? Coffee shop. For 13 years. And now I'm homeschooling my kids. <clears throat> And have a fast growing internet business. Now I'm whole schooling my kids. And so I say working. I also So you see what we did here? Mm-hmm. All right, now. Now we're helping others. Now we're gonna say here, this is the this is the strategy. I wonder. I will throw a LOL for laughing out loud. I'm gonna draw, I... Hey, Anthony, what's up? Good, guys, how are you? Good. Hey, have you heard of a company called Trevorium? Who? Trevorium. 
Uh, sounds familiar. It's a, tra it's a travel company. Yeah. Um, and some friends that I've known for over 30 years is um, kind of introduced me back to it. Um, and they're doing some great things. So I'm going to put a team together and I'm going to move them over to Tremorium. Um, they're still trying to be handling, which is fine with me because there's some better way to do business today mm -hmm. that people don't know about. So I'm introducing them to you and to our your programs. Okay. Um, Let, let's, uh, I'm, 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 I'm right in the middle of our Saturday mastermind yeah, session. Right. So let, let's uh, revisit this uh, either later today or Monday. All right, you tell me what's best for you. Well, send me a link on uh, on on LinkedIn chat to the company. Let okay. me let me take a look, and then we can talk about it. Okay, we'll do. All right, thanks. Bye bye. When my coaching students call, I try to catch them. Okay, so I manage a drive-in coffee shop. So. No wonder that LinkedIn suggested that we connect because my favorite thing is helping others, others too. I manage a coffee shop. I managed a driving coffee shop for 13 years. Now we'll say here. As for me. Month. I also work with other coaches that want to generate additional income on the side. That supports their growing coaching business. That's going to make them more curious about what you're doing. And uh, So the question for her, because she's only been doing this for seven months. What prompted What prompted you to become a coach? Let's see what she says. Okay. All righty. Okay, and give me another one. Joseph. J-O-S-E-P-H. Which one? Berber. I didn't know what the question was, how was he finding um, people to make appointments with? Or, you know, if he was kind of cold calling or what, but. Actively looking for work. Well, it says here, I will not work for an employer that... Yeah, I just seen that. I didn't see that before. Mm -hmm.
He's had a lot of different jobs. Okay. And he's only been looking for work. Well, it looks like since July. August. Four months, five months. All right, so Okay, so now this is what I mean about how by the third or fourth message, you have a pretty good idea of you know who you want to talk to. Right? So he wants a salary. Just quit talking to him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're connected, but you can do better. Okay, give me one more. Um, Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L. Okay, so she's on disability. Okay, and she worked for she worked for Tupperware and, and Avon. She's been doing it. It looks like both of them, yeah, for nine months. And she's been on disability for five years. Okay, she cashier, so cashier wrong. I'm not even sure what this is. It just says cosmetology. And I'm not into sales. Talk to somebody else. Okay. Okay. Do you understand why? Um, just if you don't, I'll, you if, if, well, I'll explain to you. N number one. Okay, so she's been doing Tupperware and Avon. Okay, part time for nine months. Now we could find out what that is. But she's not into sales. Now we could take. Okay. All 
Okay, so we're going to say here. So sorry to hear that. I noticed. Doing Tupperware. Well, we'll find out. See, every what people put on their profile is what they want to talk about. So we could find out what prompted her to do that. How, in matter of fact, how is she doing that? Because you know, typically that you know means going to people's houses. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, you know, we'll see what she says, but, um, you know, you've talked to some other people that are so fabulous. Yeah, I have those other ones, but you said we were going to go over them on Monday during okay. our training. Exactly, exactly. Okay. All right. So let's. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll talk again on Monday. Let's come back over here. Okay, so let's unmute Bill. Hey, Max. Bill, how are you? I'm great. So you sent, let's see, this little note said, while I was putting this in the chat, a guy with 29,000 followers accepted my connect to. Yes, sir. Um, I've been having real good luck with um, connecting with the right people. Mm -hmm. And then when they post, just do one or two sentences that kind of add to the conversation. Then I'm going in and because they've heard what I had to say, they're actually um, getting a lot better quality connects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I can just keep putting in comments and pick out people, you know, especially open to work you know, that have sales interests. Are you, or, are you using uh, celebrations at all? Yes. Okay. Because that, that, you know, when you think about it, you got 1,400 connections here. So out of 1,400 connections, You got 200 people that are that are looking. Mm -hmm. So you'll find when you go back, and, and look at some of these people, like this one here. Okay, so this is relatively recent. So we could come down here to the bottom. Let's go to page A.
So we look at some of these people. This goes all the way back to 2021. Yeah, I might not have been sticking to your scripts two years well, ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I mean, not all of these people are going to be people that you're going to want to, you know, start a conversation up with. So, so all this does is it gives you an opportunity to go back and review some of these people. So, for example, here's somebody in real estate, and real estate is going to hell in a handbasket right now. Well, my conversations with him have been pretty much, he's good. He's not interested in doing too much outside of what he's doing. Well, let's see. I've been working on my um, great prospects, good prospects, and fair, uh -huh. trying to make a list of those, and that's what I've been concentrating on. And then I'm adding 20 or 30 a day from my recruiter light. So I've been uh, really focusing on people that have sales backgrounds one to five years. Uh -huh. For the solar business and then the live good business, the people that aren't set up to be actual salespeople, then I can talk to them about live good is how I set up my system. And I get that through the questioning in the beginning. Which way am I going to go with them? So here's, here's somebody that you talked to in 2021. So you think I should go back to those people I talked to a couple of years ago? Oh, sure. And look at them again? Yeah, okay. why not? I mean, because if you look at her profile, she's, look, she's looking for full-time opportunity. Okay, now the grant, granted, so she's looking for full-time opportunity. Now, so the question is, or the, the statement would be, uh, you know, it's been a while since we talk. Uh, what have you, you know, um, well, according to this, she's working for the Seattle Parks Department. So the question would be, why do you want to leave the Seattle Park, Parks Department? Uh, oh, it's part time. Yeah, because I mean, she, so that would be why. Yeah, I should get a hold of her. Thanks. Yeah, uh, so so you guys are loaded with opportunities to revisit and, and 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 connect with people. So that's what it's, you know, that that's what people are missing. So let me pop out of your account. And let's go over and we'll look at Debbie. So this is what I mean. By being able to go back and revisit the people. See, you've already, you know, you've already made the connection. What you can start doing is make sure that these new people or these old people that you're talking to now, let's make sure that they start getting your posts. 
All right, so let's come over here and Let me that me. Hey, Max. Hi, Debbie. Let's see here. Okay, so let's come back over here and look at Michelle. Okay, so I'm not really interested in joining a company. But what's the company? I've probably heard of it. I've pretty much heard of all of them. Okay, so. A little bit bigger. Okay, so when we're talking to people, remember, they're looking what they're looking at, they're looking at that little box. That that's where their focus is. Every every word is important. All right. And I don't think you have to say, hey, Michelle. <laughs> okay. Because she knows who you are and you know who she is right so I'm, I, I'm not surprised that you have heard of most of the net work marketing out there
Now let's kind of look at So, so she's been in network marketing since 2006. No, I don't think that's network marketing. I know. Learning keys? Oh, wait a minute. No, it's the paparazzi, the one above. I know. No, I, I know that. But oh, what okay. I'm saying is she, she's been in education. Oh, education. Yes. Since 2006. And so she dabbled with paparazzi. Uh, Two thousand and six, thirteen years after after. So, because she liked the jewelry. Okay. 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 Considering How long she's been in education? Leaving. Now, now when was when was the last time she life is too short? When did when did when was the last time she said she didn't like what she was doing? Um, at this point, it was two two and a half weeks ago. Okay. She said, life is too short to feel stuck.
So she says, I'm not really interested in joining a company. Right. Okay, so she says here, So you ask that question, what would what would fulfill you? She never answered that. Correct. Okay. And I ask her how her search is going, and she says, okay.
or maybe missing in your work. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> So what we do is, as we say, that's need to look at a, the paragraph where it's talking about the lucrative compensation. So just following up. I joined that offered or something. Okay. A new business that I found and joined. Okay. That offered a better with a much more lucrative. And join. Okay. Okay. So we could just say. So, this, is what, this is what you're going to send her now. Right. <laughs> Let me come back over here. Now, one thing. We're not we're not answering her question. Right. Okay. Now, if she comes back and says to you, well, you never told me the name of the company, 
What are you going to say? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, well, that's close. Right. Well, but, because. But, well, so what you're, what, what you're going to say is, well, you never told me what fulfills you. Right. Okay. You never told me what fulfills you, what you were looking for. You know, uh, so telling you the name of the company is irrelevant. Right. Not that you'll, you know, you never know. But, but, well, and again, what you start doing is you continue to, um, to dribble with her. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So let me, uh, Shauna just, just Thank you. responded back. And let's go back in really quick. Interesting. All right, uh, let's uh, Attitude is everything. That might be interesting.
Yeah, I like this one. Save images. And now we're going to come back over here. Now we send that. And then Okay, so now what we want to do, though, actually.
Now, the thing is, see, we don't know how she feels. Okay, so And we're just going to send that. We're not going to ask you a question. Okay. And make sure tomorrow you go back and you send her another motivating quote. Actually, tomorrow for sure. And then one again on Monday before our session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Great, great, great prospect. Again, but it all depends on how she feels and, and something to keep in the back of your mind. You see, sometimes having, why she's dealing with all of this, changing her focus, taking her mind off of her illness could be very, very beneficial. We can right. kind of work that into it. All right, I am done for the day. I hope you all got a lot out of this and uh, we will be back. Now, Sunday night, I'm going to do a, a, a broadcast. Uh, for those of you that uh, check check your mail, we've opened up the October uh, boot camp, and I have a special promotion. Uh, it is only going to be good until Sunday night. So until next time, best of luck in building your business, and God bless you.